The Design of Life, Discovering Signs of Intelligence in Biological Systems, by William A. Dembski delves into the contentious debate surrounding the concept of intelligent design within the realm of biology. Dembski, a prominent proponent of intelligent design, presents a compelling argument for the presence of design in biological systems, challenging the prevailing notion of blind, unguided evolution. Through meticulous analysis and persuasive rhetoric, Dembski seeks to reshape the way we perceive the natural world and the origins of life itself. Dembski's central thesis revolves around the concept of specified complexity. He posits that certain biological phenomena exhibit a level of complexity that cannot be attributed solely to chance or natural processes. Instead, he argues that such complexity carries the hallmark of intelligent design. Dembski introduces the concept of specified complexity as a criterion for recognizing design. According to him, an event or an object can be considered designed if it is both complex and exhibits an independently given pattern. In the context of biology, he applies this criterion to various biological systems, ranging from the genetic code to the intricate machinery of the cell. One of the key strengths of Dembski's argument is his insistence on distinguishing between mere complexity and specified complexity. He elucidates that complexity alone does not necessarily imply design. Random processes can generate complex patterns, but specified complexity, where a specific pattern is both complex and independently recognizable, is a much stronger indicator of design. Dembski illustrates this with examples from biology, such as the information-rich nature of DNA and the intricacies of molecular machines within the cell. He contends that the information content in DNA, which directs the synthesis of proteins and the development of organisms, is not the result of chance but rather reflects intelligent design. Dembski's approach is further supported by his critique of the limitations of naturalistic explanations. He argues that the mechanisms proposed by proponents of evolutionary theory, such as natural selection and random mutation, fall short in explaining the emergence of specified complexity. He challenges the idea that undirected processes can account for the intricacies of biological systems, emphasizing that such systems appear to be the product of purposeful arrangement and organization. In addition to his concept of specified complexity, Dembski explores the concept of irreducible complexity, which was popularized by Michael B. Irreducible complexity posits that certain biological systems are composed of multiple interdependent parts, and the removal of any one part renders the system non-functional. Dembski incorporates this concept into his argument by highlighting the improbability of such systems evolving through gradual, step-by-step -step processes. He argues that the existence of irreducible complexity in biological systems is another indicator of design, as it suggests that these systems were deliberately designed as functional wholes. Throughout the book, Dembski engages with criticisms of intelligent design, acknowledging the controversy surrounding the topic. He addresses concerns about the potential theological implications of his arguments and attempts to delineate between scientific inquiry and religious belief. However, he remains steadfast in his conviction that intelligent design should be considered a valid scientific hypothesis and not dismissed on ideological grounds. In conclusion, The Design of Life Discovering Signs of Intelligence in Biological Systems presents a thought-provoking argument for the presence of design in biology. William A. Dembski's concept of specified complexity provides a compelling framework for identifying signs of intelligence in biological phenomena. By challenging the adequacy of naturalistic explanations and emphasizing the distinction between complexity and specified complexity, Dembski invites readers to reconsider the origins of life and the intricate systems that underpin it. 
While his ideas remain contentious within the scientific community, Dembski's book is a significant contribution to the ongoing discourse on the relationship between science and intelligent design.